fucking soaked. <laughs> How's it going? So tonight I'm just gonna go out. I'm gonna have a chill one tonight, honestly, but I still really want to drive my car I, cause I guess just because I got the car. I always actually want to drive. I actually really enjoy driving I was just gonna go up the road to get some snacks that I thought I might as well go take some photos as well Because there's this really cool spot that I found It's actually a vet clinic and it looks fucking sick. I took some photos on my phone the other night But I just want to go back there and shoot them properly on my camera <laughs> Major inconvenience to my photo shoot. Three cars parked exactly where I need to park my car. And I'm not fucking photoshopping that shit out. Whatever, I think I'll come back another night and we'll do this instead. All right, I went up the road and I grabbed my snacks and I, I drove past here on the way home and I was like, you know what? Fuck it, I'll take some photos. The cars that were here before actually left. There's just that one car in the background there, but it's all right because it's not actually like hindering the photo or anything. And I can still get a really cool shot here. Time, it's raining, I've got neon lights, and I'm shooting a car. It's like perfect conditions for me right now. I'm using the Sigma 24 to 72.8 right now. I'm just gonna keep this lens on. I saw a really dope 70 mil shot from back over there where the road is. <laughs> Full on thunderstorm comes out of nowhere and just fucks me up. So far, so good. This is supposed to be a nice and relaxing night, but there's fucking cyclone Tracy coming through right now. No, I'm kidding. There's no cyclone. No, there's no cyclone. <laughs> I'm completely soaked right now from what went like a, uh, a little, just a little drive and I'll just take a couple of photos of my car. Ended up in a full on fucking photo shoot because I saw one good photo and I was like, oh, look at that. That's a good photo. Oh, look at that. Another good photo. And then I just like went ham and yeah, now I'm completely saturated. I was going to say I'm wetter than Riley, Riley, but uh, last time I said that the video got fucking demonetized for that fucking sentence So I'm not gonna say that again <laughs> and also really quickly cheeky plug shameless plug cheeky and shameless plug right now Actually, if you want to keep your head nice and dry like mine see this beautiful hair right now Go grab yourself a North Borders cap or actually anything from my store fucking anything. Please help me. I'm a starving artist I need your help, please. I'm in great danger. Anyway, and also to clarify on the whole black wheel thing, I was probably a bit harsh. I don't hate black wheels per se, but I actually really hate black wheels. You really hate black wheels. You really hate black wheels. However, I personally think that if you incorporate the color silver even into black wheels, it makes it look even better because I think it helps sort of make the car's design flow a bit more when you have a bit of detail showing in your wheel. I still don't really like black wheels, but they do serve their place. I'll say that they, they do make a car look tough. This car is clean and it's simple and it's nice on the eyes to look at and I'm very happy with it. If you have a look right here, it was like super calm and then slowly like a little bit of more rain sort of starts trickling in here You can see and then all of a sudden like full-on thunderstorm comes out of nowhere The rain like it looks photoshopped right here, which is kind of cool But you can kind of see it like splashing off the car and stuff, which is a cool effect I decided to flip my camera portrait and get a bit lower to the ground Naturally, there was like this haze and it kind of makes the photo look like it was it was shot for like an 88 glam album cover or something It looks like an album cover actually 
once it has an edit on it. By the way, the base edit I'm using for all these photos is from my medium fade preset in my new pack. It's just come out. 25 brand new presets. If you haven't checked those out, I'll leave a link down in the description there where you can just go have a look. I'm playing around with this one right now as well. What I've done is I've just grabbed the brush tool and I brushed around the entire car here, as you can see, which basically allows me just to like um, play with the color of the car. So that, that's what it was originally. But since my car is silver and not blue, all I had to do was just take some saturation out to bring back some of the silver on the car. But I might have to play around with like some of the exposure and stuff just to match some of the lighting around the rest of the image. That's always a good tip is try and keep the car its natural color or as close as you can to its natural color. Sometimes it's hard when you're shooting a car, especially in neon lights, depending as well if, if the car is a different color to the actual light, it can be really hard to bring back the car's color. And it actually works the same for skin tones as well. If you're shooting a person, uh, you might just have to go over the skin or the paint into the car with the brush tool here, paint over it, and then just play around with your colors or your temperature or this little color switcher here, just to bring back as much of the natural color as you can. And what I'm actually looking for when I'm editing these photos, if I chuck this preset on, soft fade, and I bring up the exposure, the tail lights you might notice have gone a bit orange. I like to bring it back to its natural color, which is red, which is like just by playing around with maybe the oranges here, I can just bring it across back to the red or something without making it too pinky, something like that. But you can even see here, there's like a yucky mix of like green, blue, and yellow making this like shit gold, fucked up color. And also the colors have changed like the green pinstriping and probably the brake helpers in the back here too as well. I'll show you a different image that I've gone over that I prepared earlier. I feel like an actual YouTuber. You know when you watch a tutorial and they're like, this image that I've prepared earlier. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, just me. Okay, don't worry about it. Um, I've actually gone over this image with uh, the brush tool here. So if I just turn this off, you can see that this preset, it desaturated pretty much all the colors. So I went over it with a brush tool and then literally picked my color here in the color picker and then just uh, decrease saturation and play around with the temperature just to bring that color back. And then I'd have to go around just the pinstriping here with a brush tool. Let's do it now quickly. Size really small, something like that. Press O to see what you're working with. Take out the saturation because we're literally gonna be painting a brand new color in. The color is more yellowy like that and maybe bring the exposure up a little bit as well. And there you go, there's the color back in. But otherwise that was a really fun, simple, easy photo shoot to do. If you're worried about trying not to get your camera wet, I can definitely say for the Sony A7 series, the Mark III or the Mark, pretty much every full frame camera is gonna be weather sealed. Pretty much every camera made in the last five years will be water resistant, not waterproof, like don't dunk it underwater, but water resistant to a certain level of extent. Some cameras do better than others, so. but definitely just check if your camera is weather sealed before you go out shooting in the rain. If not, wrap it in a plastic bag or just carry an umbrella around with you if you're trying to shoot in the rain. Yeah, apart from that, that is the end of the video. I thought I'd just show you sort of a little bit of my process going out shooting in the rain, shooting my car shooting cars in general. So if you did like this video, leave a like down below or help me out by hitting subscribe or both or comment or whatever. Fight me in the comments if you want to. <laughs> if that all said and done, have a shit one.